Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be using the gate node to take another look at how we can control the flow of our code inside of blueprints. Now the gate has a very simple purpose, I'm going to try and break this down as easy as I can in today's video. So if you just go ahead and right click in your character blueprint and just type in gate, we're going to be using the gate node. Now with the gate there is two types, you've got the normal gate and you've got the multi gate. The normal gate simply allows for opening and closing of a gate to control the execu uh, execution flow inside of blueprints. So if I go ahead and add one of these, essentially what this is going to do is you're going to have one main piece of code which is, which is going to be trying to get through the gate. Now this gate, depending on whether or not it's open or closed, it is going to go through to the exit and you're going to have a bunch of extra code. So with this, what you might want to do is sometimes when an event goes off, you want it to run the code, sometimes you don't, and this is what you're going to use for that. So essentially, if this gate is closed, it's going to stop the execution flow there. It is not going to run any code further than that, and that is going to be it. If it is open and you've told it to be open, then it's just going to go through as normal. So sort of one way that you could look at this is if the game is paused, for example, then you're not going to want it to do um, whatever code there is on the other side of this for one of your gameplay mechanics. That's just one instance where you could use it. Um, but there's loads and loads of different ways that you can use it. So within this node, there's a bunch of different sort of entry points in here. So you've got enter, open, close and toggle. And then you've also got a boolean at the bottom here uh, to define whether or not the gate should start closed. Now enter is your main piece of code that's going to be going in there, that's your entry point. And then from there the gate is going to check to see whether or not it's open or closed and then go through to the exit if it is open. Your open is simply going to open the gate, the close is going to close the gate, so this is where you just sort of put like a, an event or something into here to tell it to open or close and then toggle is just going to switch between the uh, switch between the two so just switch between open or close whereas open and close you can choose exactly which one so let's go ahead and put this to good use so that you can actually see how this works and the way that I'm going to do this is by actually using a couple of inputs on the keyboard so what I've done here is I've actually created an input for B O and C now with this, so our main one is B, which is going to go into the entry point. To create one of these inputs, all you got to do is just right click, go to input, keyboard events, and then you can add any one of these in here. So add a B in, a D in, or whatever, um, but I've just sort of set these up in a way that I can remember them. So B is going to go into the enter, O is going to be for open, and C is going to be for closed. And then on my exit, I'm just going to have a print string, which is simply going to say, you've passed the gate, so that we can see whether or not we've gone through the gate. So let's go ahead and test this. So if we compile, by default, because it starts closed, when we press B, it should do absolutely nothing. If we press O, it's gonna open it, so if we press B again after that, it is going to go through. So let's close this, press play, and just try and press B and you can see that it's doing absolutely nothing. If I press O on my keyboard and then press B, you can see now that you are able to pass the gates and your code is able to go through with this. If I press C to close this and then press B again, it is doing nothing and the gate is effectively closed. And you can also just use toggle if you want to, it is entirely up to you, but it's pretty straightforward on how that works. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to sort of talk to you guys about with the gate node. There is still more that we can do in terms of flow control, but for now guys, that is everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, 
your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.